Thanks for locking in with 77 Flavors of Chicago. We're your host, Dario. And I'm Sarah, and I hope you're ready to learn with us. Today, we're talking about Rosemont, y'all. Rosie Rose. But first, have you ever wondered mm. where the dirt came from? I don't really think about dirt. No, but have you ever thought, have y'all ever thought, where did the dirt from the 1933 Chicago World Fair Century, Pro- Century of Progress come from? <laughs> hey, my top two teeth got stuck together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> four, them four fronts, boy, was like, we, I had the 50 cent. 50 um, cent, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I didn't really think they had to bring dirt from somewhere else. <laughs> now I know that they did. Yeah. But at the time of research, of uh, coming across this random fact... Y'all probably like, what the fuck is this intro? What is this? <laughs> what's going on here? Um, we are gonna get into it as we always do. But uh, thank y'all for locking in with us. As Nobody. I said it already during the intro, my bad. I'm still getting used to this. Um, how's your week uh, going? How, how was the week? Oh my god, it was good. Yeah, it was very good. It was a very cold weekend. But look, Chicago. I hope y'all thawed out. I hope y'all good. It, I mean, I'm still thawing out. Right. You, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, next week it's gonna be like fifty. Yeah, it's gonna be that's gonna be a heat wave. Shorts. Global, global warming is, is a wild thing. Global warming is it is a wild thing, and I don't I don't condone it. Um, you can't. What do you mean you don't? Condone I don't. It? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be sound about this, but you know, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not all. <laughs> we got some benefits out of it. I'm just saying, it's not good. Not. It's not good. I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm not a liker you're to not it. A, you're not a pro. I don't want, pro global warming. No, no, no. I'm not pro. I'm not pro it at all. Dario is pro global warming. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm not he pro. He hates babies. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> let's stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know him yet. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Uh, uh, no, but it's cold. We hope y'all stay it's, warm. It's horrible. I mean, horrible. Like what's happening in Maine is insane. It's what's, what's happening it's in Maine? Like fully flooding. Really? It's flooding and freezing. People in canoes. In canoes. What? Canoes. That, that, it's not that bad. No, thing. no, in the streets where you usually oh. would, would drive your car, the people are in canoes. So <laughs> it's Venice. I mean, it's Maine, though. Also, I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing. Maine. I'm sorry, y'all. No, it's I a lot of rich white people. You don't want to piss them off. Hey, look, what they probably not listen to this. <laughs> 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 Pretentious ass. You know, <laughs> they probably don't need. What, what if they? What if they are? And then we, well, we gonna see uh, about the reviews. <laughs> we mm. gonna see if we drop. <laughs> if, if they if they hit us. I with just a, want y'all to know. Every time we get we get. There's only been like one or two bad reviews, but the, yeah. only, the times we've gotten them, it was after we called out white people on the podcast. <laughs> right. And we didn't even call them out, y'all. Take, we that, just, take that as you t- do with that whatever you need to do. Right. We're just going through the history. saying uh, every, You know what it was? It was every time we talked about white flight. Whenever, oh, we, yeah. whenever we said the words white, white flight, flight, man. Oh, and whenever we said white people packed up their shit and left because they were scared of black people, <laughs> right. people were like, people this like, podcast this, has no content. This, this is racist. <laughs> y'all don't tell the history right. Okay. okay. And then you tell it. <laughs> Why, why did y'all leave from uh, Grand uh, Boulevard? Mm. <laughs> why did y'all leave? Mm. Huh? Why is MLK anyway? Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, something speaking else. Speaking of that, no, no, <laughs> speaking of MLK, was, happy uh, happy uh, MLK Day. Actually, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't get the day off. So. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. But if you listen to it on Monday, Happy MLK Day. This is uh, what it, what was the meme that you saw where it was like, uh, oh, <laughs> the, <laughs> me, the meme I saw y'all. It said. Um, my job don't care nothing about uh, ML, uh, 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 MLK or, or sharing rights. I still got to go in. It doesn't care who, who had a dream. Who had, yeah, it don't care who had a dream. <laughs> I'm still going into work. Yeah, for real. Same. Uh, we, I mean, I don't even get, like, time off. I only you get, really don't get I no really don't off. get any, like, people were arguing that for Christmas we should have gotten Friday because uh, it fell on a Monday. Like, we right. should have an observe, observe day. We did not. Mm. We don't get Black Friday off. Damn. I've worked every every black every. Is it is it uh still called Black Friday or is it uh I guess it's still Black Friday but they, remember remember when they tried to call it Green Friday? Who the fuck tried to call it? You know when I was at Best Buy they were trying to say Green Friday because why? you know they were like you know Black Friday you know sound like why is it got to be black you know what I mean like they they just trying to make a big thing out of that which I I, I don't know I'm, I'm I'm indifferent of it. I don't you know? think they meant like Black People Friday. No, exactly, but like that's what that's where like, that's where it was going. No, no, trust me, that's where it was going. Really? Yeah, it was called Green. They were trying to get it's Green Friday for like a, a second. I mean, I I think Black Friday should not be happening anyway. It's horrible. To be honest, uh, it increases. Oops. As, as a black guy, I'll take anything. It's, uh, <laughs> it's consumerism. What? Well, yeah, right. It is. You have people working when they should not be working. They don't need to be. Nobody. How do we get on this? The meme. That's how. That's yeah. how we get on it. 
<laughs> and not having Black Friday off. No, yeah. Let's yeah, yeah. end all of Thanksgiving. No, I'm just okay, all right. Let's get a Damn. few. A few. If you want me to tell my real opinions. Damn. Now, did that you whole s- week, everything oh. happening in that whole week should end. Uh, if you want to hear real opinions, uh, stay to the end of the episode. We got something, <laughs> we got something, we, we got something but special how was, for you. How was your week? Good. We went to the uh, Trade and Adventure Show. Travel. Travel and uh, Adventure <laughs> Show. <laughs> Bruh. Trade of what? Uh, shit, he's trading the cold weather for this uh, indoors. That's what we're trading. Um, yeah, so we was trading that. Travel. I'm traveling. God damn. We, we was, weren't even traveling. It was the traveling. It was the traveling. Trip. That's what the hell I did, y'all. Like, this is. This and it was not, really fun. Mm-hmm. We talked to a bunch of. Uh, travel people. Travel people. <laughs> about letting us travel with them. <laughs> and and uh, still waiting for some uh, emails back. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, we, we threw the cast out there. It was, and, uh, it was our first time. Like live pitching ourselves, right? Let, let me tell you something. We did good. Let me tell you something. Yeah. This podcasting is fun, mm-hmm. but um, like doing marketing yourself, yeah. and playing salesperson yeah. and cold emailing mm-hmm. is the worst. It is, it and is. I hate it. It is. It I is. hate it. Right. I don't want to be in sales. I mean, but that's what we got to <sighs> do, though. That's what we got to do. But I hate it. <laughs> right. I hate it. Y'all almost because, like, at this point. If you say no, you're not saying no to a product. You're looking dead no in my to, face. You're saying if you say if you say no, I don't want to. We don't we don't have the budget to pay you right now. You're basically like rejecting us as individuals, as individuals, as people. And I can't not take that personal. Yeah, that is right, right. That's a good. And speaking of that, that's a bad point. Sarah, Sarah, talked me off the ledge, y'all. I was gonna put, I was gonna go on the gram with a. It was a five minute video. I still got the video. Yeah, don't post that. Yeah, I, I had a five minute video. It wasn't talking about the people. It wasn't definitely not not the listeners, not the uh, not the our followers. Have nothing. Nothing. To do with nothing. They got nothing to do with it. It's, I was. It's Big Brother. I was for real. <laughs> Big Brother. The man was about to get it. That's all I know. But that it was five minute video. Sarah went out, walked the dog while I was. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. I I was I was having a breakdown. I couldn't walk the dog. That's what it was. Yeah. I was I was uh, getting I was on my level. That was that was part of my week. <laughs> but then we went to the travel and uh, adventure show, yeah. and I was. I, was I also better. mentioned last week that I uh, was going to this crochet class uh, that I went to, and <laughs> I was going to the crochet class that I went to. <laughs> um, and I <laughs> I made chocolate chip cookies this week. Yeah, you took it to them. How they like it? They loved it. Yeah. I only went home with two two cookies left over. Who left? Who left the cookies? You didn't eat them. Well, each person had two. Well, y'all was being modest. I would have, I would have fucked them cookies up. I know. What, what Chevy you call them? Boneless cookies. Boneless cookies. <laughs> Boneless cookies. Hey, look, that's uh, though Sarah's chocolate chip cookies are amazing, y'all. Like honestly, it's uh. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not just saying that either. Um, they they smack it. Anytime she make them, she had to make them thirty everyone at a time. Re- everyone requests them. My brother ate. I made him uh two like two dozen cookies. He ate them in two days. Oh, that's he lightweight. I I I would have ate all them bitches in uh. At you least would have eaten eaten eaten. eaten. <laughs> <laughs> you would have eaten twenty four cookies in in a day. You act like you're surprised. You've seen me. I, I mean, like you've seen me <laughs> eat as many cookies. And not I'm, y'all. I'm not saying that I, I'm gluttonous and I would do that all the time. But shit, I I do it. Don't put it past me now. Nah, shit. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's uh, you let's talk about you. You ready to get locked in with Rosemont? I'm ready to get locked in with this, Rosemont. This is, uh, I, I forgot to get tuned up, man. I ain't even got no damn yak on me. I ain't, got, I ain't got no drink. I forgot. Do you want my therapy water? Yeah, you, where is it at? Is it close by? No, nah, we ain't. We, you look, I, I don't need it. I don't need it. We, uh, we, here's what we're doing. Because this mm. ain't, this, it ain't a lot to this one. But Sarah and I, we go down these wormholes of thought processes. Yeah. And we were like, so kind of what led up to this is that we were um, going to this travel and adventure show in Rosemont, the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center. And we both kind of <laughs> said, what's in Rosemont? Literally. And we just said, hey, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, honestly, let's figure it out. I honestly um, don't really think about Rosemont <laughs> Damn. much. <laughs> Damn. Damn. No, Bruh. no, no. But here's why. Here's why. I only think about it when I'm on my way to O'Hare. And if I forget that I took the tollway or non-tollway. Mm. Uh, or when my mom comes to visit because she likes to go to the outlet mall. You know the you know the crazy thing is I I, I honestly generally don't think of Rosemont. The only time that I think of Rosemont is literally passing through it. Yeah, That's or it. or you know the couple times that I went with you to uh, Zanies. Yeah, um, right. And I guess I, you, you said know, trauma. Right, I don't like. do that shit no more. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, so like, Ooh, I was, you, my, you stopped me. You stopped me. I was about in to go head, in. <laughs> in my head, I think of it as like a place 
for people that are there for conventions yes. that are like you will need a place to stay that's near the airport right that has some things or the people that's uh like traveling the day of and they, they just want to go up there and like hang out wait for their car you know what i mean like or, or, or yeah. wait for their flight something like, like that that's well, all i think about yeah. if people go there so like i don't i don't frequent it as uh We'll more say, than more than like once or twice a year. They got that good ass um, uh, German uh, Listen, bar. They have a they have yeah. a they have a, uh, a quite a few th- good things. They do. that we're going to talk about that right. I actually enjoy that I did not I you know should think about more often. Yeah, but let's, it's, it's, you could take the blue line right there. So. Right, right, right. You can. Um, let's let's get into you know the topic. Yeah. <laughs> so the topic is Rosemont. However, how we got to Rosemont. How we got to Rosemont. Like I said, we were just like, what's in Rosemont? And then we start doing a wormhole deep dive into the history. And did y'all know, like I said at the top of the episode, that the dirt from the 1933 Chicago World Fair, Century of Progress, a.k.a. Pro- progress. Century of Progress. You say that shit kind of fast. That, century that, of that, that'll, that'll trip you up. Century of Progress, Century of Progress. Look at you, you, say, you say Century of Progress. You ain't saying the whole thing. Yes, I am. Century of Century of Progress, Century of Progress, Century of Progress, Century of Progress. Look, ugh. If I make it a rap, I can do it. Anyway, <laughs> that that <laughs> the, the dirt from there came. And then you're like, Correct. what the fuck? Why was they doing Why were they doing that? If we're being honest, Chicago kind of bullied that area. We did. That so was, it, That was disrespectful. It was very, dis- to, to take it. So here's the history. 1800s, early 1800s, like around the 1830s, yeah. uh, when this area was once a part of the Layton Township, and I don't know if it's still a part of the Layton Township because mm-hmm. I think the Layton Township is still active. However, uh, not not that big of a deal, but they were part of the Layton Township. There was really nobody up here, and uh, it was basically barren, like mm. nothing there, like nothing in the area. So uh, right around, what was it, 1886 when the Wisconsin Central Railroad yeah. kind of got its uh, early beginnings and start coming through the Chicagoland area, um, that was like the only... Kind of like uh, created some form of way to get to that area. Some Right, and that's about it because yeah. people still didn't come. It was just that was the only Correct. thing that they actually there. People still didn't come, huh? That's what she said. Um, <laughs> the... Uh, <laughs> Um, didn't. No, but uh, so so that and that's 1887, 53, 57 years mm-hmm. afterwards. OK, now yep. fast forward another 50 years. Right. Yeah. We got the century of progress. Right. World's Fair 1933. So that's how we ended up with the, the dirt, because realistically, they learned that the area in the in the clay and the dirt by the Desplaines River, River was actually pretty good. Yeah. We've heard this story before. If you've listened to the podcast, go back and check out our brick story. Right. Um, we talked about how the, the clay. Yeah, you know, the clay around the rivers, Chicagoans discovered, oh, this Made shit the is the Chicago brick, the yeah. brick. Yeah, this was dope. Look at you. Oh, um ahead. that that's one of my favorite stories, the, the common brick story. But uh, to, to kind of add to your uh, Laden Township uh, uh, yes. in um, Yeah, Laden Township. Township. So these are the cities, towns and villages that are part of this township. It's Bensonville, or um, Bensonville, part of Schiller Woods, Elmwood Park, Franklin Park, mm. Melrose Park, Norwich, North Lake, Park Ridge. But each one Damn. of those, so like Melrose Park, only like the part that's north of North Avenue. Norwich, it's West Edge, North Lake, north of North Avenue, Park Ridge, South Edge, River Grove, Rosemont. So it's not all of it? It's not all what of kind it. Of, what kind of township is that? Rosemont, only the southeast three quarters. Wow. And so- Schiller Park. Um, Ain't that all in? I guess that's not Chicago. No, no, no. The, uh, Chicago part of Schiller uh, Schiller Woods is in there. Okay, wow, that's mm-hmm. that's weird. How how do they get away with that? <laughs> that's like, a great question. Yeah, how are they still a township? And and do they got any say over like any of the other Chicago part? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like 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 you think it's, what a, you? it's a weird map for the. Uh, Hey, Layton Township, check in with us, man. Like, do y'all when y'all need things changed, do y'all go to Chicago and be like, "Hey, we so were like." If you look at it within Cook County, it kind of has a weird, like the top. If you look at the top part of it, mm-hmm. it's kind of um, they, there's no like straight lines. That's a lot of like curvature. So well, that's not Chicago. They don't go. It don't no, cover it does. Chicago. It's it a part of no like, a little bit, like a like, little bit, like the only the Higgins Road. The part kind that you, of, yeah. that's that's it's it. Small. That's the only part of the Chicago, and that's debatable. 
<laughs> that's, deb- <laughs> that's debatable. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, and it, it, well, that's, that's pretty. That's pretty dope to see that that's mm-hmm. uh, still mm-hmm. around and scatterbrain. But um, I still would like to hear from uh, Layden <laughs> Township. Like, what, do, what do y'all do? Layden, what y'all right, doing? What do y'all do, man? <laughs> like, like, I just I'm not trying to throw shade. I just yeah. want to know because yeah. you know I, this is the first time I paid attention to y'all. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> anyway, uh, so century of progress. They started getting the dirt uh, from there. But what also happened? Dump the trash. They start dumping the trash in the area that we know as uh, Rosemont. Near the, mostly around the river. R- around the river. They just start yeah. dumping the trash right there, which is, I guess, like, to your point, Chicago was like, man, this this ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? There was no vision. There was no there was no vision. And keep this in mind. This is 1933, y'all. This ain't like we, we in the uh, 19th century. We in the 20th century. Mm-hmm. Pretty well into it. You know what I'm saying? Great Depression is happening. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so Great depression, yeah. Yeah, so so you know we we in it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we in it. But um that's kind of like the story <laughs> of the dirt and uh it it took another a few years. So actually there you go. um part of part of Rosemont was actually sold during the World's Fair. So they ma- they did 25 Part of Rosemont was sold. So they did 25 foot lots and sold them at the World's Fair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I did, I yeah. did. See. Wow, so, 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 what, what, what was it for? Like just to dump dirt? So, like, if you had a plot of land, you could be like, "All right, this is my garbage dump." <laughs> no. Is that what? That was? I don't think so. I think they were just sold to people. But um, yeah, so you know, the Great Depression happened. The story goes is that one mother mm-hmm. and her children, her husband died, and so she had to take care of her kids, and mm-hmm. she couldn't afford to live in the city. When he part of a war too, I think he was a, he was like a war vet or something like that, um, and then he passed away. Sure. I think so. I think. Well, I, I, could be, I don't know. Story. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's, <laughs> it's, it sounds fun. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, but I mean, she, not fun. But y'all, right. I'm sorry. That, not, nothing. Adds hey. a little pizzazz yeah. to the yeah, story. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, that he was a veteran. I don't right. know. Well, veteran means you survived it. Right. But hey, he look, let's carry he this. Did, he did, it was not in, I don't think right, it was in the right, war. Right. right. <laughs> um, but so because this was before the before he died, it, she moved in like the 30s. Right. So or like. After the at least after the. uh World's Fair. Yeah. So the war was already had ended like 15 years before. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, so he definitely did not die in the war. <laughs> so we, we in between World War One and World War Two at this point. Which is the hell out of that one. Mm. Well, <laughs> I did. That was me. Yeah. I'll take it. Look. Yeah. Bruh. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, so she moved uh, kind of like to the outskirts of the city because she just couldn't afford to live in the city anymore. So mm-hmm. she took her kids, moved to this area that is now known as Rosemont. There was literally nothing there. Right. Like nothing. Um, and she lived there and um, she raised her children there and what lived there through the World War. And uh, 1947, mm-hmm. Chicago chose that area to be where O'Hare was going to be. Mm. and Well, near it, right? Yeah. Actually, did you, I think technically O'Hare, part of it is part of Rosemont? No. At all? No, no. I mean, because it's, it's it's technically Chicago. I don't know where I read that. I know it's definitely, it's a community area. Yeah, yeah. right, right. It's Chicago. That's why I say Higgins, Higgins Road is, uh, I think yeah. it's Higgins. It's just, it's it like is that Higgins. one. It's, so, um, she, t- actually that lady lived northwest of the city limits, so it's Scott Street and Higgins Road. Oh, okay. That's yeah. where she settled. So, so she was still kind of in Chicago, technically. Yeah, she was <laughs> just outside of the city. Oh, she wow. Just wa- she just didn't want to be in the city because she couldn't afford it. That is smart. I guess. I mean, look. If you're into swamp. She did that thing. She did that. She, <laughs> she did, did that. She raised her kids there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so they built O'Hare, which there's a lot of, you know, thoughts around. Uh, yeah, O'Hare was built, but uh, kind of um, eminent domain. The the Kennedy yeah, is Kennedy. what really, uh, like, <laughs> it, Kennedy and Eisenhower caused big riff. Like, we talked about that in uh, the episodes. Go back to the Fuller Park episode. Mm-hmm. You can hear about the uh, Eisenhower. But uh, we talked about the Kennedy during the uh, O'Hare episode. Uh, community area number, is that number 76? Is, yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check it out. Check it out. Uh, yeah. Go back and listen to that one. But even to this point, it was still kind of a dumping ground yeah. for, from the city. They dumped. A, there was a lot of flooding happening from the river. Airplane they would waste. throw <laughs> tires and garbage dumping. And it was un, still un, unincorporated into the 40s, into the early 50s. But there was about 84 people that lived in that area. Mm. And um, they were super close together. And they kind of made this like homeowners association thing in 1952. And um, 
A little HOA, nah. <laughs> 84 <laughs> person HOA. <laughs> I would. Uh, I'd be like, I, I ain't paying shit. <laughs> I was, what I was, <laughs> y'all got me messed up. It's, it's, me. it's less than 100 of us. What, what the hell am I paying? <laughs> uh, in, in 1956, they voted to incorporate the area mm-hmm. into a village. Yeah. And. Um, the little township they could. The little <laughs> township. <laughs> the little township. They, they incorporated it. Um, and. Did you know that they? Do you know how they picked up how they picked the name Rosemont? They had to do something since it was garbage ground, garbage no. dump. No. Rose. Well, <laughs> roses they smell like. Put, ooh, ooh, so ooh. people put names in a hat. Yeah, right. And they I, pulled the name out of the hat, and the name that was pulled was Rosemont. So who wrote Rosemont? I don't know. That person should have automatically been the mayor. Yeah. That that person right there should have been like, yo, I got some kind of claim in this bad boy. I well, didn't... Don Stevens mm, hey. was, was the president yep. of the HOA. the HOA, and he kind of like rallied people together to... Um, he was the Captain America, this thing. Yeah. Come on. Steve Rogers. He was the Steve Rogers. Sure. Donald E. Stevens Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's my nickname for him. You know? That's a very long... It's, it's longer than his name. That's a category. Uh, <laughs> before and after on <laughs> uh, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Donald what? E. Stevens Rogers. <laughs> that, your nickname has to be shorter than your name. So whatever. like your name is Dario. That's the game I play, so whatever. Your your nickname <laughs> would have to be shorter than five letters. What? No, that's not true because yeah. my nickname is way longer than my name. Mm-hmm. So like my name is Sara. There's rules to this game. I but thought it was just mom, before and after. Sure. <laughs> I just thought it was I didn't know it was rules. No, but like that's it has why I don't to like that shit. What what game? The before and after, Donald E. Stevens Rogers. I don't know what that what that game is. You've been trying to get me to play it the whole time, like the last two weeks. Oh, that's not before and after. Play. What is going on? <laughs> I was, that's why that's why I don't like the game because the rules are stupid. You're playing it wrong. No, I'm not playing it wrong. I'm playing it right. That's Will of Fortune. First of all, they got it from Will of Fortune. First of all, old heads unite. If y'all y'all know y'all know, hey. <laughs> that's that's a that's a that's an old wheel of fortune thing. Mm. We started that. Mm-hmm. We start mm-hmm. we we anyway. Uh, continue, continue. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it was the name was pulled. It was called Rosemont, and Donald E. Stevens became a mayor. The first mayor, some might say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> some yeah. The first some mayor. might say yeah. And he was he was a businessman in the area too. So he he kind of had the vision to build Rosemont to what it is today. He wanted it to be. You know, he saw hair was close. Um, some uh, companies were like building near, and he said we could be that entertainment hub near the airport. We right. could have we the could bars and the take down Chicago. <laughs> so no, we could be. He, no. no, he wasn't thinking that. No. Um, but yeah, I think that's a pretty dope vision to be like, mm-hmm. hey, look, all eighty four of us, we about to uh, we about to party. Yeah. What, what do you think those meetings was like? He, I don't <laughs> hey, know. Hey, but he, had, up. he he wanted it to be like a unique development, so he wanted it to be something that was not. Uh, a regular, schmegular little town. Rosemont so, is not not regular. It's not, it really that. isn't. It, the only t- I don't want to say the only time, but they be having some big things there, like they concerts do. and things like that. A ton. Uh, I went to see um, uh, Kanye West there. Yeah. The, the, don't they have wrestling out there? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. I about to say w, yeah. WWE was just here. Yeah. Ton of hotels. Everything is super connected. Believe it or not, Rivers it's Casino. Very easy to like walk around the Rosemont area. Is is it? it? There's no sidewalk, so you could be risking your life. But you can. <laughs> but it's easy. <laughs> get to things quickly. Like you, you, you might get run over. You but might. It's also only a three minute walk. Have y'all ever played Frogger? Mm. Because if you played that, you good. Yeah, you good. Then you good. Just wear wear a bright yellow jacket. Man, look, them uh, the little workers out there, they stopped in traffic. Yeah. I had to dodge with them one time. I was yeah, like, what real. is going on, man? For like real. y'all just walking up. Do you know he served 14 terms? Yes. Matter of fact, uh, here's let me t- let me tell you something here. Um, he served 14 terms, and at the time of his passing in 2007, his son took over as the mayor yeah. and uh, helped finish his term. So uh, the legacy continued, and uh, in a very, very roundabout way, long story short, Donald E. Stevens Center was named after <laughs> Yeah, and so... Uh, it- the, I mean, that space is huge, and they have, like, hundreds of conventions Massive. happening there. You, I mean, there's multiple conventions happening at the same time. So the trade, the tra- trade, look at me. St. Jude. The travel you. show. <laughs> I got your ass. You did. <laughs> the trade, just call it the trade no. and adventure show. Whatever, let's just call it. The travel that. and adventure show that we went to was actually in the Donald E. Stevens 
convention center. At the same time, St. Jude's, uh, uh, Jude's was happening. Jude's. Happening. Happening. What's, happening. Going, what's going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with you? It's this cold. It is, this cold got us all kind of, kind of glitched. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was, you know, so wasn't it somebody um, dancing and acting wild uh, in front of the kids? Or was that us? Really? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, we was there. I can't really? remember. Really? No, no, I can't remember. We okay. Something happened. We was like, damn, all in front of the St. Jude. It was packed in that bad boy, though. It was. It was packed in there. Yeah. Anyway, I am done. Okay, <laughs> well. <laughs> That's you, Rosemont. Uh, <laughs> yeah, check out Rosemont. There's actually a ton of activity to do. You know, um, one more story. Yeah. I told you this as we were getting there before we get out. I got to tell y'all, man, Rose, this is my history of Rosemont. Uh, when I um, was working in Northbrook, I would come home, mm. and I had a car, a Camry. And this, shit, this shit was, I, I recently got rid of it two years ago, right? Uh, the car started to really die, like really, really die, yeah. like bad. It to the point where I'm on the road, y'all. I'm it's on so the dangerous. road, and the car would just die out. Oh. <laughs> the car would just die out, like they just. I'm talking Horrible. engine would cut off. It would stall. I got an automatic. How the fuck an automatic stalling? Mm. So it, it, oil change was there. It was just something was going on. I don't know what was happening, but it would stall. The steering wheel would stick. I'd be in the. I would. Ooh. I what I would do is I would stick to the right. Uh, the right lane, just mm. in case I had to dip off real quick, and I had to pull muscle the steering wheel nice. over. And it wasn't steering fluid. Y'all probably like, man, you need steering fluid. No, it wasn't that because that shit was all topped off. The car would just cut off. Y'all, it cut off one time when I was in, and I got off the road because like I was like, you know what? Let me take the streets back home. Because if I if I'm on the expressway, that's yeah, gonna be it's bad. Over. But let me take the streets all the way back home. Okay, so I did. And I was going through Rosemont. That shit cut off soon as I got off the expressway. That's horrible. My ass had to go into, I can't even remember what parking lot it was in, but I was like, I had to just dip all the way the fuck oh off, y'all. God. I was like, what? And so that's that's the one time I like stopped. Not the one time. I've been in Rosemont. Like I said, Rivers Casino. I've been there many times. Um, but, it, dude, that was scary. I was yeah. like, shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. That was that was yeah, but yeah, check out they have so they have the uh, fashion outlets which I love. Yeah. To go there once a year and once a year only because I hate malls, but I'll go with my mom when she comes to visit. Uh, tons of bars and and I like that area with the bars yeah. that is just closed. Yeah, the little uh, you can just event. hop from one place to the other. I go space. That's yeah. what a uh, German spot is. It's good. Sugar yeah. Sugar Factory is right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you said mm-hmm. sugar, sugar factory boy. There's a there was that a club expensive. in there that I used to go to that I don't remember what it's called, but my god, yeah, it's, it's lit up in there. Yeah, in that place. That's yeah, wild. Oh, well, if you uh, enjoyed this episode, um, go ahead and send us someone to you love. I will say this is the one episode that I will tell you stay till stay a little bit past the ending. Yeah, uh, for a quick little surprise. Yeah, um, don't don't sign off now because you know we about to say goodbye because we got some shit for you. Yeah, so. You want to, you want to just, but y'all, just, uh, excuse, what? Me, excuse me. I'm <laughs> the sorry. Hell was that? I'm a grown man with hiccups. Uh, that's what happened. Uh, but if you could, please stick around right now. We got a little bit of a surprise for you. Yeah. Uh, that we want to play. And then uh, you're not going to hear from us after that. So it's bye for us now, but stick around. Listen to this. For future Darian Saria. For Saria. Saria. <laughs> Saria. Uh, <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. Peace. <laughs> I'm Sarah. And I'm Dario. And you might know us from the podcast, 77 Flavors of Chicago. It's the podcast where we travel all over Chicago's 77 community areas, gave you places to eat, and told you some dope history. And as much as we loved exploring Chicago, we wanted to travel the world. So starting February 1st, we have a brand new podcast called Traveling While POC. Mm-hmm. And in each episode, we'll visit a new destination. Bring you tips, share itineraries. And tell you our wildest stories. As we travel while POC. much for listening to today's episode and we hope you loved it and if you could please follow us on social media at 77 flavor shy on instagram facebook tiktok and twitter if you have any ideas or deep dives that you'd love us to do please contact us at media at 77 flavors shy that's the number 77 flavors and shy for chicago.com if you like visuals please subscribe and follow and watch us on our youtube channel at the same thing 77 flavors shy or search 77 flavors of chicago if you would like to support us monetarily 
go ahead and click that bus sprout link in the description of this episode. And as always, we gonna see you next week. Peace. <laughs>